Open Core, The Basic Way, Project Legacy. Installing Open Core on other machines as the Mac Pro 4, 1 and 5, 1 is and was always possible. Gain any benefit from Open Core on an iMac, Mac Mini, or older Mac Pros was mostly reduced by getting a boot picker screen. Always keep in mind, Martin Law's package is tailored for the Mac Pro 4, 1 and 5, 1. Project Legacy is a little bit different in the way of handling legacy machines and could be used for every Apple Mac. When Alex Levesque and Jog Henninges thought about installing Big Sur on a Mac Pro 3, 1 just by using OpenCore without patching the installer itself, they make a huge progress by building a universal config.plist. It can be used to vanilla install every Mac OS on unsupported Mac, just by downloading the Mac OS installer and run it, like on supported machines. With the release of Big Sur, Apple did change more than you may notice on first sight. The big changes was introduced with Catalina already, where system-relevant files was protected on a shadow copy of macOS. In Big Sur, the whole drive is completely sealed. Changes are quite not possible without deep changes, with risking of data loss and losing complete system protection. That's the reason why there are still some issues on some Macs, like no native sound out or input on a Mac Pro 3, 1, or removing the stock Bluetooth adapter because of an incompatibility with Big Sur. Beside this, if you're ready for an adventure and want to participate our Project Legacy, here's how to install it the basic way. If you're using Project Legacy on the Mac Pro 3, 1, you have to manually remove the original stock Bluetooth 2.0 module. Remove the two screws and the antenna. Be sure to isolate the blank metal head of the antenna cable. Just lift up the Bluetooth module and put it aside. Prepare a spare hard disk or SSD to install the desired macOS and the USB thumb drive to install Project Legacy on it. Start your Mac in recovery mode by pressing and holding CMD plus R until the recovery start. Open the terminal window and disable the system integrity protection by executing CSR util disable. Reboot your Mac and start normally. Download the Project Legacy archive and unzip it. Inside the folder, you find Martin Law's Blast script, the Clover configurator and the EFI folder. Open the disk utility and format the hard disk or SSD and the USB thumb drive. Choose GPT or GUD as scheme. Be sure to set up Finder to show all drives. Open Clover Configurator and mount the hidden EFI partition of the USB thumb drive.
copy the complete EFI folder of the project legacy to the EFI partition. Inside of the EFI folder, you find two additional folder, boot and OC. Inside the OC folder, you find several files. Two of them are the config.plist files. Config.plist GOP is the graphical version, while the TXT version is a little bit more universal. As a reminder, as long as your graphics card does not contain a GOP part in the vBIOS, you will not see the open core boot picker. If you use an original stock Apple graphics card, you will get a boot picker screen, as well as internal graphics card inside of iMac and Mac minis. Modern cards, for example, the AMD RX 580, contain a GOP part inside of their vBIOS and will show the picker. Rename the correct config.plist where we suggest to use the TXT version, but the choice is yours. Run the BLESS script and confirm with your system password. Reboot your Mac and be sure to have the USB thumb drive plugged inside. As you mentioned the text or graphical boot picker already, you're ready to install your desired macOS version. Download and run the installer, and choose your spare hard disk or SSD which you prepared before. The installer will copy everything to the spare drive, and the installation will start after the next reboot. Depending on your hardware, you need patience. A Big Sur installation on a Mac Pro 3.1, for example, took up to one and a half hour. There will be several reboots. macOS is always choosing the correct drive from where it will continue the installation. Please do not interrupt the process. If everything went fine and you follow these instructions, you will be welcome with an early setup of your chosen macOS version. As a reminder, if you have Big Sur installed and no metal graphics card, the setup may be very laggy and it needs precise positioning of the pointer. 